welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So, it looks like you could you might be considering going on a first date. You might be thinking of, uh, you know, dating again. You've got this card about, you know, you're going through a heartbreak but having faith that it will all work out. So maybe things have, uh, you've hit a bit of a rocky patch. You might be thinking of breaking up the relationship. Uh, breaking up the relationship and starting off afresh, starting off a new relationship. So I mean, you might be thinking of, of dating again. Uh, but it looks like things are going to work out. You're going to be able to sort through this particular problem. There's this feeling of being isolated and going through a lot of bitterness and depression as well in this last few months. So something's happened uh, that's caused a lot of heartbreak, uh, bitterness, depression. So you're going through quite a, um, you know, a lot of emotions right now. You need to make some kind of decision and you're very indecisive about what to do, whether to stay in that relationship or actually leave. And there's quite a period of instability as well. So you're not quite sure what to do. You seem to be dancing around the problem and really not coming to a conclusion as to what to do. So uh, the cards say, you know, it will work itself out. Uh, but maybe you need to get together with this person and have a good discussion before ending things completely. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Romantic Tarot. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got this page of rods. So it looks like there's some kind of social invitation coming in for you. Uh, you know, maybe somebody asking you out on a date. Uh, so this might be that first date that they're talking about. So there seems to be somebody that's interested in you and will be asking you out. It could be a fire sign person. So it could be um, Leo, uh, Aries, or Sagittarius, because this is the rods card. But all in all, this person seems to be, you know, very interesting. Uh, they like to go out. They might be somebody who, um, you know, likes the good life and likes to socialize quite a bit. So this invitation is coming, some kind of offer coming in for you. Um, so what's happening with you? You've got that nine of swords and the four of swords. So it looks like whatever relationship you were in, uh, there might have been a legal ending to it. It wasn't, uh, you know, it caused a lot of anxiety and stress, but it wasn't what it appeared to be. So what you thought the relationship was about was not actually what it was about. And there was a lot of stress, a lot of conflict that went on. So there might have been, appearances might have been deceptive. What you thought you were seeing in that relationship was not really what was happening. You got that four of swords over here. So you are taking a break from everything that happened. Maybe you're going out a, a lot more and socializing quite a bit to try, try and recover from whatever happened. So you are, uh, the four of swords is, you know, taking a break, coming up with a new insight, having more clarity. But this is also about going out there and uh, you know, socializing, meeting a lot more people. So uh, this is probably why this new invitation is coming in for you. So there seems to have been a legal ending to that case. So you could have gone through a divorce. And this is what uh, is going on. You're getting over whatever happened. And there has been a lot of social invitations recently. You've got this um, uh, page of cups over there. So you have been socializing quite a lot more, going out quite a bit more. And, uh, you know, you're getting over that relationship that wasn't quite what it seemed to be. So you've got the Eight of Cups over here. So you've walked away from a very difficult situation and you are now going and maybe you're not uh, being particularly exclusive to one person. You, you're making a lot more friends. Maybe there are more casual relationships that you're indulging in now rather than anything long-term. But you have definitely moved away from a very, very difficult long-term situation and it seems to have ended in divorce. So going into the future, <coughs> you've got the um, King of Cups over here and this is your card. So, you know, you're trying to fulfill your own emotional needs. You're not really relying on anyone. You've been through a lot and you understand how things are and you're trying to get that balance back. This is also having gotten some kind of advice or you need to get some kind of advice from somebody who's very, very supportive. Uh, you know, maybe some professional advice or just, you know, somebody that is just very supportive around you. But it seems like, you know, you're getting on top of things eventually. 
So uh, what's going on with you? It's, you know, you are focusing a lot on your work, but it seems like you might be pursuing some of your artistic, um, the artistic side of you as well. So although you have your work uh, and you are focusing on your money, but you are also focusing on that artist in you. And maybe you're taking on a new hobby or pursuing something uh, with a very artistic flavor as well. Now, you've got the Two of Cups over here. So it seems like there might be a relationship that comes in for you. Uh, but, you know, it's it, there's still something, uh, you know, you're not going to be, you're not being very, very open and honest with each other. Both these people are wearing masks. There's this pail, uh, these buckets of water that are spilled. So if you don't, uh, you know, come up, um, if you're not upfront in a new relationship that comes in, especially with this offer, it, that, it might not actually go the distance. Uh, so it might even end before it begins. So if you want to pursue this new relationship, it seems like you and this person will get along pretty well. Uh, but you need to be very, very open, very honest, and very straightforward about it. Uh, lay your cards on the table. So you are worried that people are you know, telling tall tales or making promises to, to you that they can't keep. Um, so you're worried about getting into that kind of relationship uh, of deception. So maybe, you know, in the past relationship, there was a lot of deception and you're not willing to go down that route again. So going into the future, you are trying to find some kind of uh, direction in your life. You've got that star card over here. You're making plans for the future. You're strategizing and you are coming up with your ideal partner that you want in your head. You have cut out the past. You've got that... Um, there was a legal ending to that case. So you've severed ties with that person completely and you're moving on. You might have been victorious within that lawsuit if it was that, uh, but you have definitely severed your, your ties with that person, even broken off communication. And you're spending a lot more time by yourself. Uh, maybe you're, uh, you know, doing a lot more research uh, uh, in your work life or, you know, doing a, spending a lot more time keeping to yourself, really, and relying a lot on your intuition. This highest priestess is ruled by uh, cancer or... Um, uh, as well as Pisces, but it's, you know, uh, relying on everything uh, and relying on your inner uh, gut feeling really to do things and doing a lot of thinking as well and keeping to yourself. She's behind the veil. So you're keeping a lot of things bottled up inside, which you might need to actually, you know, speak to somebody about to release any kind of, um, you know, pent up emotions that you may have. Uh, but you are tending to keep more to yourself and not really, and, you know, focusing on yourself and, you know, your self advancement. This man's playing the flute. So doing something that you love, it seems like that's where you're going. It doesn't seem like, you know, you're really interested maybe starting to reveal things to people in a relationship. Um, but if you want to begin a relationship, you do need to be open and upfront, not keep things hidden because that relationship won't progress if that's the case. Um, you know, so you are emotionally stable over there and, and doing a lot more social, uh, socializing, it seems. So for the moment, it doesn't seem like there's particularly a long-term relationship coming in. It seems like you're getting over that previous relationship. You haven't taken the plunge yet, just yet. But there's a lot more invitations coming in, a lot more socializing coming in for you, going out with friends over there. Uh, you know, it seems, um, you know, you're just getting back on your feet again after going through a difficult relationship and making plans for the future. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. And you've got the three of Raphael over here, which says reasons to celebrate a community of friends, happy announcements regarding relationships of friend, uh, or children. So it seems like you're getting together more with your friends. You're concentrating on yourself right now rather than concentrating on a relationship. There might be some kind of event that you're also going through. You might even be doing some traveling as well with friends. You've got the to uh, two of Raphael. Now, this looks like a relationship coming in. Two uh, hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Now, you've got the two of cups coming in twice over here. So it looks like there is a relationship that is going to be coming in. And it's a very, very much a soul connection with this particular person. But you do need to be very honest and be very open and, you know, say it like it is uh, in order for it not to... Um, dissolve before it even starts so it looks like it's going to get go places it's a wonderful relationship but make sure um you know don't be too suspicious of the other person be very very open and honest about what is going on then you've got the eight of michael who says you can be free and make a courageous choice to change your situation not seeing things clearly so the eight of michael is the eight of swords being feeling a bit trapped uh maybe all by the past thoughts uh you know that you had you need to let go of the past because that is the thing that is preventing you from moving forward into this brand new relationship that is coming in. So if you let go of all the demons from the past, really, uh, and approach this new relationship with the, you know a new way of looking at it, 
the, the gates open and it looks like it's going to be a really good relationship. You might meet this, this person through friends. By going out and socializing, you might meet this particular person, it seems. Uh, and that invitation, you you know, they either make an invitation to you or you make an invitation to them. But it looks like it's going to end up in something long-term and committed as well. And it's going to be a good relationship because you'll have that soul connection going on over there. Um, so, you know, whatever it is that you start up now, whatever relationship that you start up now, make sure that you are very open and honest with this particular person. Don't keep any secrets. Uh, that's not a good basis to start a relationship on. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.